Hi there, my name is Jonathan Lay, and this is my part two of my video about how to make a time lapse. So in part one, we created a bunch of individual image files, as you can see here, then exported them out of Lightroom. Um, these are just, and they're numbered sequentially, one through, uh, in this case, 209. And in part two, we're going to bring those into a video uh, editing software and make a video out of them. So I'm using Sony Vegas, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, software. This is version uh, 9.0. I think there's a 10.0 out there now. Um, but anyway, this it does the job. Um, the way this particular software works, you start off making a new project. Uh, I have to call it something. Uh, we'll call it Sparks Video. Next, it's going to ask you a series of questions about how you want it to look. Um, I click finish. It starts my project. And uh, my default settings are for um, 1080p, so it's the same as like a Blu-ray player. It's 1920 by 1080 pixels and 32 frames per second. Um, and to add media to this video here, first you add it to as one of your resources, and then later on drag it down to the timeline. So uh, what I'm going to do is import media, and um, the when you, when I select one of these JPEG images, it automatically knows that that might be part of a sequence, and there's an option down here to open still image sequence. And you can see 1 through 209, I want to click that and hit OK. And the software is smart enough, and i got to call this clip something. Um, the software is smart enough to know to uh, uh, open that as a, um, as a sequence, and it makes a little video clip out of all those individual JPEG images. So it's kind of slick that way. Um, so I've got this little clip available as one of my videos. I'm going to drag that down to the video part of the timeline here. And if I hit the little play button, you can see what it looks like in the little preview window. This is just a rough sketch of what it's going to look like. Now, it's a pretty short video clip. It's only six and a half seconds long, and it goes by pretty quick. Just, you know, by the time you've uh, figured out what it is, it's over with. So I want to try and, if I do it over again, I'd have taken a longer uh, clip, but uh, why don't we just kind of cheat a little bit and I can stretch this out. So if I hold down the control button and click and drag the edge of this, um, that'll basically stretch out the frame. So I'm going to make it about twice as long as it, as it was. If you do this too much, uh, the video will kind of look a bit jerky, and it looks pretty bad, but you can get away with a little bit of it, and it still looks um, fairly decent. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. So <coughs> it's not really playing 32 frames per second in essence. It's playing some, some fewer number of frames per second than that, but it's uh, uh, slow enough that you can actually appreciate it. So I'm going to stop that. Um, next thing I want to do is add some music to this. Um, the same thing, project, I do import media, and um, I've got some, uh, I'll do this one here. Now this particular song is pretty long, I'm only going to need a few seconds of it. Um, if I open this in something called the trimmer, um, actually, oops, uh, you open in trimmer, <coughs> I can kind of select a little section of this media and then just drag it down here. Um, to the, uh, yeah, hold on a second here, i got a, a small window to deal with. I can drag it down to the music section. Um, and now when I play this, uh, let's see if I can uh, go here, you can see more of the timeline. <coughs> when I play this, it'll play the, um, the uh, video and the music. So hopefully you can hear that, I'm not sure if it's coming up on the, uh, on the audio. So now it's just a matter of uh, fixing this like I want. First thing I want to do is crop this a little more, down like that. Um, if you move the mouse over to the um, corner, upper corner of a uh, one of these any clip, you can fade it out. So I'm going to fade that out. I'm going to fade it in a little bit like that. Same thing with the music. I'm going to fade the music out and fade the music in. Now when I hit play, and it comes out like that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit stop. Uh, the other thing I want to do <coughs> is I want to put some uh, text in the. Maybe I'll just put some text in the in the end of it. So if I go up here, um, and I can just go. Uh, I believe it's just insert text media, and uh, we're gonna just call this. Um, I'll just say Sparks Lake. 
Sparks Lake. I want to make this a little bit smaller. Um, here, let me move this up so you can see it. More like about uh, 28. Um, if I just kind of hit this, it's there. Here's the little text. I'm going to put this in the beginning. I can move this around to about there. Actually, I can move this down to there so I can see it. If you drag the edge of one of these things into each other, they, they will crossfade, which is kind of a handy thing. Um, and what I can do in my project media, I've got now that text is appearing here. I can make it appear here again at the end. So, oops. Um, and I can kind of uh, make that a little longer, drag this out. So, again, it's just a matter of. Um, Gonna fade, it's going to fade in and it's going to fade out and then I'm going to make the, um, the music kind of last about the same amount of time so I can grab this back out. Um, I'll do the uh, fade like that, maybe fade in a little slower and that's pretty much it. That's, so I've got my video, I hit play here. Um, as you can see in the little preview frame that it kind of fades out. It shows it and uh, runs through the thing and it fades back out and then the next step is just to export the media so if I go project and it's right here render as it doesn't it's not export it's render as and I'm not going to get into the settings for Sony Vegas but I've got some templates set up for YouTube and video YouTube in Vimeo high definition and um, if you hit custom, that's a whole bunch of uh, parameters that you can set and you want to set them just right. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials out there to tell you how to do that. But um, basically, you just uh, hit save and it exports the video and then you can upload it to your favorite uh, online video service. And that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks.